Hello learners, this is Soumya Rajan, Academic Officer English. Learners, before you begin, let me make you travel through the entire course of secondary level English. In today's time, you need to be equipped with working English language abilities so that you can interact meaningfully with the wide world ahead. Here, in terms of your knowledge of English, it is assumed that you have learned English for three years, understand simple questions and instructions and directions given orally, answer questions in English in a word or phrase, read and comprehend words and phrases of high frequency, short simple sentences, write short simple sentences about yourself and your possessions, familiar with the use of some punctuation marks like capital letters and full stops and have a vocabulary store of at least 250 words. The syllabus for the secondary course in English aims at developing certain skills in you. Number one, listening skills. Number two, speaking skills. Three, reading skills. Four, writing skills. And there are other communication skills including study skills, literary skills. This course also focuses on elements of language, grammar and usage and vocabulary. Coming to the course content, there are two books, book one and two. These books have 27 lessons comprising 21 prose and six poetry lessons. Coming to the course objectives, listening skills. At the end of the secondary course in English, you will be able to listen to and understand short texts, listen and react to authentic material drawn from real life listening situations coming to specific objectives at different stages of the listening exercise you will be able to get at the central idea or message and gist of the text extract specific information from various parts of the text follow the sequence of events in a narrative material draw inferences predict future actions enjoy poems anecdotes and jokes you'll also be able to appreciate the use of descriptive words and expressions at different stages of the listening exercise, you will be able to follow simple instructions for filling up forms, applications, etc. You will also be able to extract specific information from simple dialogues. You will be able to follow simple directions on route maps, take dictation from text, read aloud at slower than normal speed. Coming to speaking skills, you will be able to repeat a model, use English in familiar life situations, specific objectives of speaking skills. In terms of language functions, you will be able to greet appropriately in specific situations, take leave, introduce yourself and others, give simple instructions, directions, conduct interview, describe people, his family, uh, places, objects, ask for and give information, etc. Under interaction skills, you'll be able to in initiate a conversation and also include to take turns and develop and wind up a conversation. Coming to the portion called uh, elements of language, you'll be able to develop intelligible pronunciation, acquire working knowledge of various elements of English grammar and use in lifelike situations. You'll be able to use simple past forms, present forms, imperatives and frame interrogative sentences. Coming to your reading skills, you'll be able to use reading as a tool for learning. Give evidence of having mastered desirable habits of silent reading. You'll be able to understand relations between parts of a text through basic lexical and grammatical cohesion devices and recognize discourse markers commonly used in written registers. Coming to your writing skills, uh, learners, you will be able to write neatly and legibly, use the spacing, capitalization and basic marks of punctuation like the full stop, question mark and comma, spell familiar, frequent, use words, uh, use basic grammatical structures and appropriate vocabulary, use basic uh, reference words like pronoun and linkers, organize a text coherently, Supply personal information on simple forums, write short formal letters, personal letters, short messages, etc. Coming to your study skills, you'll be able to use a learner's dictionary to find the meaning, usage, 
and spelling of many words. Skim a text to obtain its overall idea. You'll be able to scan a text to locate specifically required information. You'll also be able to transform information contained in short, simple, verbal descriptions, make notes and summarize. Coming to your literary skills, at the end of this course, you'll be able to appreciate and enjoy a piece of literature and the creative use of language. You'll be able to identify the literary form and you'll be able to trace the development of events, plots and themes. Compare and contrast characters and talk about them. Appreciate and imbibe life skills such as kindness, courage, honesty, etc. By a change in attitude and develop a humane personality. Coming to the elements of language, it comprises grammar and usage and vocabulary. Coming to grammar and usage, parts of a sentence, types of sentences, subject verb concord, the noun phrase, tense, non-finites, the modals, clauses, reported speech. Coming to language functions, greetings and taking leaves, introductions, supplying information, seeking information, describing, narrating stories, reporting events, giving instructions, requests, taking messages, apologizing, expressing regret and thanking, following instructions, complaining, and the like of these will come under this. So this is all about your course learners and I hope you'll be able to study this English course with all the perseverance and time management. All the best. Thank you.